today is like a polite rant. I'm going to make this as polite as I can. Um, I was listening to uh, Sirius XM radio, which I have on the, I know on the, on the PGA Tour radio, and um, I, I really had a hard time this morning. This was the hardest drive I've ever had to, to put up with. Uh, there was a top 50 instructor talking about what the most common problem or mistake that we see in our world, there are no mistakes. You're not defective, right? You're a brilliant gravity genius. And we prove that to our students on a daily basis, and I'll, I'll prove it to you now. And um, they said, okay, the, the most common mistake they see is a very steep downswing from the top of the backswing. And, you know, it would be very challenging for any of you to go out on YouTube right now and find all of the instructional videos and find out before they think that there's a mistake, what was it that was in the student's mind or the golfer's mind prior to beginning the swing? Were they attempting to put the club on the ball and make the ball their target and make sure they hit the ball? Or were they trying to send the ball to the real target, the destination out there? And do they have a flight plan? So, You'll see a wonderful series coming out on Golf WRX today, starting today, which is, you know, you'll, when, by the time you see this, it'll be last week. And it talks about how to become the advanced player. You're going to want to see that one. And, and then any one of the, this will help you uh, decipher and uh, it'll help you uh, filter out the instruction that just doesn't belong. So anytime somebody's trying to manipulate you into positions, please advise them to go read Gabrielle Wolf's book, Attention and Motor Skill Learning. And this is a very old book. For the last 20 years, the scientific community has been proving beyond a reasonable doubt how we suck at body part positioning and how brilliant we are with task. I'll give you a task. I got a machete. I want to take a machete through a bamboo shoot. No problem. I want to shave the, the edges of that bamboo shoot into the ground. I want to shave it into a stake that I want to stick into the ground. We're amazing at that stuff. But if you say, okay, make sure the elbow is pointing in a downwards angle of 19 degrees and make sure your hips are turning these amounts of degrees and make sure that the weight is positioned on this part of your foot or that part of the foot, Man, you are in a different galaxy far, far away from your goal, okay? The goal of putting a ball to a target. And I'm going to show you how amazing we are at that. Um, another one had mentioned, um, you know, I'm uh, starting the, uh, a good five handicap player, starting the ball on target and drawing away from the target. He's trying to get rid of that little draw. And the instructor says, well, you need to add more flexibility to the hips. And I'm going, wait a second, what's that player trying to do? Are you trying to hit the ball or are you trying to go to the target? So if I'm skipping a stone on water and, you know, we have thousands of students at our learning center, five full-time teachers. We have 72,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. We have everywhere I go with all of my locations in the world, not one has failed this test. So listen carefully. I'm going to take the stone, I'm going to skip it on the pond. You can do it underhand if you're a NARP. <laughs> my, that's my daughter's uh, version of a non-athletic regular person, <laughs> so, which is pretty funny. That's a University of Queens thing. It's not, it's not mine, trust me. So I'm going over there, I'm going to skip a stone on water. So I asked my student, where'd you let go of the stone? And they, they're, they're trying to figure out where they let go because it's not a conscious thing. So we're going that way. They realize they're letting the, the stone go here and the body's facing there when they're doing that and the weight's on the front foot. Nobody fails this. And then, then they realize, wait a second, when did the weight get there? Did it get there as I was releasing? That's what most people will answer. No, it got there first. So then I show them how to make a punch and I would get there and snap a punch. Oh, look at that. The weight went to my front leg first. That's because that's a kinetic chain or kinematic sequence that's been built into us for millions of years out of pure self-preservation, okay? Because we were hunter-gatherers, we gotta throw a lot of stuff at our food. So we're amazing at slinging objects, whether it's 
slashing a sword, kinematic chain. Whether I slash a sword on my backhand, kinematic chain, skipping a stone, snapping a punch, you name it, it's there. So, if I'm taking a club and I'm throwing it over there, here we go, throw the club into the screen, you can't come over the top doing that, impossible. You can't be steep when you're throwing a club over there. Now, throw a club at the ball all day long. Chop wood, split wood, chop a tree. Split wood, chop a tree. Which one are you trying to do? They never get to that fundamental issue. Are you going there or are you going there? That's what we want to know. Then we can see the behavior of the swing in relation to that. There's my polite vent of the day. If you're swinging over there, your hips aren't going to stop, are they? Right? So I'm taking this club and I'm throwing over there, I'm skipping my stone. Notice how my hips open up. Why? Because my shoulders only have 20 degrees of range of motion. So if I don't move my body, ow, I just bruise my shoulder. I have to move my body out of the way for the stone to go over there. So when somebody says you need more flexibility in your hips because your lower body is stopping and your hands are passing through and you're closing your face too late, well, that person's defaulting to the ball and not getting all the way to the target. So if I go all the way to the target, the hips won't stop. Flexibility, I suck at flexibility. My genetics suck at flexibility. But I can hit a ball over 300 yards no problem and my hips don't stop because I'm not defective, I'm on the right task.